Hello friends, blessings to you. I would like to take you to explore Mexico City. Well, the first thing I'm going to take you to explore is Chapultepec Park. It's Mexico City's biggest central park. In fact, this park is almost 2,000 acres in size, which makes it twice as big as Central Park in New York. So as you enter into the park, uh, the main gate will be on the east end, and you'll come to this monument called the Altar a la Patria. And if you look above it, up there on the hill, that's Chapultepec Castle, which now is the National Museum of History. But Chapultepec Castle uh, is a fascinating place. And actually, I'm going to do another video specifically on that. That castle is actually the only true castle in all of North America. And I'll explain that in the other video. So, Altar a la Patria, it stands for basically uh, Altar to the Homeland or Altar to the Fatherland. And these six columns are to commemorate six young cadets that actually died defending Chapultepec Hill and Chapultepec Castle in the uh, Mexican-American War of 1847. And the, the main walkway heading through the center of the park is loaded with street vendors. You could find everything here, you can imagine. In the center of the park, there is a big lake. You can rent these paddle boats if you like. <laughs> and Chapultepec Park also has one of the biggest zoos I've ever been to in my life and it is completely free to the public. Now, I'm not actually the biggest fan of zoos, to be quite honest with you, but at least here, um, the enclosures are pretty large. Uh, they build them as a, what their natural habitat would be, and the bird enclosures are actually big enough where they can fly around. So I do appreciate that. <laughs> so Chapultepec Park also has what they call Los Pinos, which was the presidential palace from 1939 up until 2018. And we're gonna go up here and take a look at that. So the palace is open from 11 till six every day, except for Mondays, it's closed on Mondays. Well, the entire park is closed on Mondays and admission to the palace is free to the general public. Here's a look at the library. Although none of the furniture is here anymore, which, which would have been nice to see. Buenas tardes. Now, Los Pinos is actually a compound of several buildings. You have the main palace, and then you have a whole series of other uh, buildings that 
would have housed other leaders from other countries if, when they came to visit Mexico. So here's a look at some of the other buildings here on the compound. I think what I like the most about visiting Los Pinos is the grounds surrounding the palace. Uh, there's an incredible uh, set of pathways and walkways and gardens right outside the palace itself. It's beautiful. So one of the most interesting things as you walk through the multiple miles of trails through Chapultepec Park is just how densely forested central Mexico actually is. Some of these trees here are absolutely gigantic. They'd rival anything that you would see in Canada. Well, Chapultepec Park also has a giant totem pole from Canada that Canada gifted them for their um, commemorating their 150th anniversary of their independence. And there's also an archaeological dig underway right in the middle of the park. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed that small tour of Chapultepec Park. I only showed you about a fraction of it. Uh, I didn't even make it to the other end of the park where they have the National Museum of Anthropology. And I'm gonna go and be spending a whole day there. So I think that'll be a video all on its own. So I hope you enjoyed this small glimpse of Mexico City and uh, may God bless you and your families.